Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Now we all know about what is Amazon Route 53. So if you have not seen that overview video of Route 53 yet, so I'll drop the link of that video in the i button so you can see from there. In this session, we are going to learn how to configure domain in Route 53 and then we are going to create our first record in Route 53. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, here is my AWS management console. Now I'm going to search Route 53. Click on it. I'm going to click on hosted zone and then create new hosted zone. You can see here hosted zone configuration here you have to enter your domain name so this is my domain name which is easyaws.rf.gd in type i am going to select public hosted zone because i want to route traffic on the internet if you want to route traffic in a vpc then you can select private one here also you can add tags so now simply i am going to create hosted zone now in hosted zone as you can see here the type will be public it's created by route 53 directly you should have two records count and then in this hosted zone if you click on it you are going to have the ns records and the SOA records. So the NS tells you have the you the name servers. So now let's go ahead and create our first record in Route 53. We are going to create a record by clicking on click on here. And in here, I can just have a record name. So we want it to be test.record but you can enter anything you want here now you have to specify the record type so you can see there's a lot of record types in here but for now we will keep it simple we will keep it as an a record and which is to route an ipv4 address into a domain name to an ipv4 address so the answer is going to be now value is 11.22.33.44 which is just a value we want to have okay ttl is time to leave we will leave as we will leave it as 300 second right now and the routing policy will routing policy will have a look at it later on as well we will leave everything as simple routing okay so let's go ahead and create this record now as you can see our record is now created and if i try to just access this url it does not work okay so what do we know is what is going on behind the scenes and so for this we are going to type some command lines so let me open the management console and then i'm going to click here to open cloud shell and cloud shell is going to allow me to do some command using a standard linux command line interface okay but this is fine if you want to just do it with your own terminal on windows or on mac okay so my terminal is now ready if you are on window the ns lookup command is going to work and if you are on mac the dig command is going to work as well but as you can see these commands are not found on my cloud shell so i need you to install them so do sudo yum and then install minus y and then bind minus utils 
and it's going to install both ns lookup and the d commands on my cloud shell so now let's clear the screen and now let's try to do ns lookup test record dot easy aws dot rf dot gd so now we have successfully created our first route 53 record and we have been able to query it using terminal which is cool obviously loading it from a web page is that does not work right now but we'll see how we can do it later on when we have real server so i hope you like this session and i will see you in the next lecture so if you found this video helpful then share this video to your friend and subscribe this channel and stay tuned for the further video thank you for watching bye and have a nice day